What is up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live making another JavaScript video coding tutorial. So let's get to it. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, how to deal with arrays um, or objects, storing that sort of data in a local or ses session storage. We're using Google Chrome with JS Bin. And um, these, these lines right here are all the lines you need. So if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, just grab this and test it out for yourself. And uh, if you want to see actually what comes up in the developer tools, you can go to resources, local storage, JS bin, and users, and you can actually see that it is indeed the key and the value pair. But if you want to watch along from the beginning, let's get rid of this. And um, let's try it out. Sorry about my washing machine. And um, yeah, so first we're going to create an array of users. It's just going to be a new array. You can use any syntax you like. Um, and we're going to add on to this array. We're just going to say Theo, my name, Mark, Luke, and John. And um, we're going to declare another variable called JSON ready, JSON ready users. And this is just going to stringify this array into JSON friendly syntax. Um, let's stringify users. So now if we log out the JSON ready users, we should get back the escaped users, so it is now in JSON friendly format. But that's not really what we want. We still just want to store the users. So let's try this out. We're going to store them by doing, we're going to do local storage dot set item users users. And let's just log this out to see what we're actually getting. Or sorry, let's let me take this back. JSON ready. It's kind of a tedious process, but set it up right. JSON dot stringify users, and this is gonna be JSON ready users undefined. Storage dot set item on the phone. JSON dot string by users. Let's see. Literally just did this. Let's look at the resources, local users. Yeah, they're they're in there. So um, I guess this just returns undefined the first time. Not sure why, but uh, if we want to. We want to grab them and see that they're actually being stored. Go back. And um, we can log local storage. Or we got to parse this JSON. Local storage users. And there you go, guys. We have it. So. Um, Similarly, we could store it in here for our users. And then if we log out, user zero, or we could just, just so it's clear, we log out, change users, it's Theo. So that's it guys. And I think you could even, at this point, push onto the array. There you go guys, that's it. And um, yeah guys, those are the two methods you need to deal with storing the array into, um, into local storage. Hope that helped you out. I know I had some trouble with it when I first um, started with it. Um, 
And the last thing is change users dot push. And then if we want to store it back again, we can do we can uh, we can do we can do our JSON ready users equals to change users JSON dot stringify and we have that again and we can do put this down here. Now, if we go into our resources, and we go into local storage, and we just get back a length of five. So, that is it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Let me know which other tutorials you'd like me to do. I'm always down to do sort of anything JavaScript-based um, or HTML, CSS. Python, Django, a little bit of C Sharp, .NET, don't know that too well. A um, little bit of Ruby, PHP, um, web development, engin engineering, anything, algorithms. Just let me know, guys, and I'll make a video, make some tutorials, screencasts, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, guys, catch you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought. I appreciate the feedback, and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch. Take care.